Hello everyone, this is Hachi here, and we got a really short episode today. But we gotta get some stuff done, and I'm itching to get it done, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Now, I have been a very, very busy Hachi. I've been working on trying to get our disk drives for fluid storage done so we can move forward and get things working. And on the last stream, we went ahead and accomplished this over here. Making the advanced chemical furnace so that we can um, make our Grandmaster energy absorbers faster. The other thing we accomplished is we got our slime factory over here going. And... Started producing slime. Now, I need to go mining and get more stone. I will do that off camera. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Um, and I do got to move the server at some point, but we'll deal with that as well. But for now, we have enough here. I believe, I'm not 100%, but I believe we have enough for three dragon eggs. Okay? Three. And that means... We're going to be having our AE system up soon. So I thought about it and I was like, well, I guess what we should do is start filling our drives. And then I was like, well, crap, I need hundreds of circuits. How many circuits do I need? Oh, you know, a small number of around nearly 800. But that's fine. That's fine. Actually, it was a little over 800 because, like, I needed three stacks of uh, HP circuits and, like, 12 stacks of Envy. It's quite a bit. So, I bit the bullet. And over here, I went ahead and built a very quick epoxy automation with two LCRs. And I'm feeding the salt water back into the salt water tank here and I'm taking the sodium hydroxide and moving it you know, into here to make that. The fennel has completely run out but I'm still sitting at a nice 2,000 buckets uh, or more of epoxid more than enough to make our circuits. The other thing I did is I went ahead and upgraded our advanced uh, our circuit assembler to the uh, IV variant and I do have a transformer here everything else is still EV because this is all going to either be PA or GT++ machine soon but the reason I did that is so I can get the drives going so what I'm going to do is we're going to take these circuit boards that I've been working on we're just going to plop that in here. It's going to go in there. I didn't even check this. We are 100%, so that's good. And it's going to start spitting out our 64K fluid storage. Fantastic. We're going to let that cook. All right. So while that's cooking, we're going to look at the next thing. So we want to continue with our mutagen so that we can make our first eggs. And... Mutagen is a bit of work. We're going to be doing the distillery method. Now, this requires an EV distillery. I will get that built. But right now, what we're focused on is this step right here, which is just a brewing machine. And I should have a brewing machine around here somewhere. That's an advanced brewery. I could do that. Got a distillery here. Do I have a better one somewhere? Yeah, I can't even put fluid in that one. Um, what do we got down here? Do 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 forming press mixer extractor. Ah, here we go. Brewery three. This will work. What is that? Bio lab. Okay. Yeah, we, we always keep our bio lab next to our brewery. We like a little bacteria in our in our uh, brews. It's totally safe. I promise. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this sorted. Um, do I have another super tank here? I do. Good. 
But I'm going to need one more super tank, I think. So let's make one more. See what I can do with that. All right, so that one is still there. What about you? Nothing. Large plastic fluid pipe, huh? Do, 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 do. Do I have any poly ingots? Poly? Oh, I do. Six. Let's drop that in here. I believe it was a large. That'll do its thing. Slap our steel in here. What else do I need for this? We need an MV pump and pulse. Aluminium. I I've been making stuff all day, so I already know like some of this stuff just off of memory right now. Sadly. But that's why we're rushing this. We are trying to get to a point where we no longer need this. Pump. Cool. Make me a pump. I have a pump. I have all the other parts. All right, there's our other super tank. So we can do super tank things. And we're just going to auto output this in here. It'll be fine. There we go. We got our sludge. Mmm. Sludgy. And if I remember... Oh, look at that. Tiny piles of uranium-235. I just happened to have a few. Wow, this is like... <laughs> it's no joke. The debuffs are real. Alright. So, we're going to pump that up. There we go. It actually registered that time. And the fermented bacterial sludge or enriched is what we're after. Doesn't have a circuit. So we just pump it in and throw this in. And then if I was to do this and set fluid output, this gives us our enriched bacterial sludge. That we are soon going to turn into other things.
We need more uranium. Let me in! I really gotta fix this. Alright, so while we're waiting on that... While we do the enriched bacterial sludge is we put it in a fermenter. Now the fermenter is going to take quite a long time process this it takes 120 seconds at ulv fortunately this should be extremely fast at our current tier should be we will see and i think i think like do i want to put a thing here I'm, i might this is going to take a little bit. Let's see if we have any conveyors that we can just plop on there for the items. It'll do. And then I just need something beautiful. Something new. I should just pull it in, right? Every 20 seconds, import, import now, there we go, all right, slow as molasses, but it'll do, all right, so now that we got that sorted and automating, let's work on making our fermenter. So let's go ahead and make the EV fermenter. Um, it's going to require what you see here. Do we have the parts for it? We do and we don't. So let's start with that. And I hate the fact that I always wants to use my silicone. I'm pretty sure I can still use rubber with that. Um, There is our pump. Here is our reinforced glass that it said we did not have. And now we are missing apparently an EV case. You know, I've been saying I was going to move those EV machines out of there for I don't know how long now, but it's starting to be like the biggest lie ever told because here we are still putting EV machines down there. And I'm about to add another one. There we go. Advanced fermenter for all our fermentation needs. 
And we are going to plop it right here. Without any remorse whatsoever. Did it connect? Yes, it did. This is almost done. Which is good. All right, with that, we are on the last little bits. And it is not going to be even, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with this. I prepared for this. And now we're going to go ahead and plop this right here. Feed it upwards. I'm going to go ahead and steal this one. Plop it right there. And what? What setting are we putting you on? No setting. It's just uh, turn it on and go. So it is on, it is fermenting, it's going to do 15 seconds a cycle, and it should spit it out in here. And there's our first bit of fermented bacterial sludge. And then all we need to do to turn it into mutagen is put it in an EV distillery. Which is basically the same thing we just built, but in reverse. Eh, alright. Let's, let's get that machine made. Yes, I know. Need to make the thing. Like, we're not even using words for it anymore. It's just the thing. The machine thing. And that gives us our distillery. And we're going to be moving over here. Okay, it's connected. So when this is done, which at 50 seconds per, this is going to take a while. Which is fine. But when this is done, we're going to move it over here. And distill it into mutagen. And I'm hoping we get just enough mutagen for three buckets. That will give us enough for three dragon eggs. So at this point, our fluid storage cells should be done. They are. Look at these beautiful components. And it looks like we even had some leftover circuit boards. Very nice. I will stick those in there to be fully forgotten. Now we got to turn these into storage cells.
we have two options here. We can turn them into the single cells, which is probably what I'm going to do, because each of these are going to be single. I'm going to see what's cheaper, though. This is stainless steel, aluminum, and certus quartz for this one. If I was to do this one, which is the multi, it's tungsten steel. So I think I'm doing this one. Save that on there. Actually, let's see if we even have some of this stuff. Uh, we have 41 Certus plates. So that's easy enough to take care of. Certus screws. Do I have Certus screws? Oh yeah, we got plenty of Certus screws. That's not a problem. So we're really just looking at the 96 stainless steel and the 48 aluminum. And now we wait. We are nearly finished here. This is almost done, and then we'll have all of our drives. And I'm going to take this time for a shameless plug. If you like this content, like and subscribe. Every subscription gets me closer to a thousand. Once I get a thousand, I can actually afford to do more of this. Please subscribe. I need it. And shameless plug aside, we only got 20 of those left. Now let's take a look at what else we need for our dragon egg. Because we have a lot of the side components done. We just need to actually make some of the stuff. So starting off with the big egg, we need bacteria and growth medium and a spawn egg. And if you see over here, we got plenty of growth medium from a while back. One of these tanks should be full of bacteria. Here's some right here. And we basically have everything we need for this step. I'm going to go ahead and save that right there. We'll save this one. This one. And that one. Unfortunately, all of this stuff is EV, which isn't a problem. It does require a clean room, but we got that set up right over there in there. So that's that's not going to be a problem. Now, getting back to the task at hand, we have our disk drives. We're just going to shove everything in here. Hit this right there. And start pulling out our drives. And we can now handle all 48 of our fluid drives. Now we got to whitelist them for all of the fluids. We're going to do that right over here like so. I'm not going to sit here and partition every single one um, on camera. But just to know how we actually do this, you know, just for kicks, oxygen, we can drag over an oxygen cell, click it on here, and partition, and it should say, it doesn't, it, it's not partitioning. Why are you not partitioning? There we go. Oxygen gas. And now this one's partitioned for oxygen gas. So you just plop it in there, and you can partition. And fortunately, with the way this system works, you don't even need to actually have the item. You just search it in uh, NEI slash JEI. I don't remember which one this is. There's too many versions. 
and put it in there and then partition it and you're good to go. You just put it in your system and you're set. So I will work on partitioning all of these later. But for now, we're going to set this right here. And get that out of our inventory. I will clean it all up later. Because my inventory is a mess because of this project. And let's take a look at how our fermentation project is going. All right, it looks to be going well. This is going to take forever, so we're just going to let this keep cooking. And I think that's a good stopping point, because that's all I wanted to do today was to get that process going and show you guys what we're doing and get all the stuff for these cells to be made. So with that, thank you for joining me. Hopefully on the next episode, we'll go ahead and get our uh, ME system actually online. Uh, we'll make the dragon eggs. I'll figure out how I'm going to decorate it. And we'll go ahead and bring the cube online and start connecting our chemicals so that we can move everything over and get into automation. So with that, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.